bismillahirrahmanirrahim this is rustam uh, with a new video video series uh, the title is uh, research with rustam so this series of videos will be recorded for b students cuz they need research in 7th or 8th semester so today's topic is uh, doing research step by step so i'll be talking about uh, six steps as you can see here in this video that uh, step 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 rather there will be three phases phases of research before i proceed further uh, let me make a disclaimer statement here that these videos are for <coughs> bs students so no uh, specialist vocabulary no technical terms have been employed in these recordings so i'll be using a uh, very simplified uh, uh, vocabulary and uh, i'll try to explain things uh, using lot of examples but uh, these uh, initial statement are basic uh, pieces of information will be elaborated upon when students uh, uh, when i'll be recording uh, more videos in this series so initially i will give a basic definition of everything <coughs> now let's go to the next slide so here is an overview of uh, the six phases let me mention phase 1 phase 1 means <coughs> selection of a topic or a problem so problem is a technical term i'll explain it later on so in phase 1 another uh, important segment is writing a research plan our proposal or synopsis these are synonymous terms so <clears throat> sometimes we use research plan sometimes we say research proposal and sometimes we say synopsis synopsis <clears throat> or a research proposal <clears throat> has a format uh, containing three chapters i'll explain these three chapters in the next uh, video that in a synopsis we <clears throat> propose a plan future plan that how we are going to conduct this uh, research study <coughs> so there are three chapters uh, literature review and uh, research methodology introduction literature review and research methodology so in phase 1 what do we do we uh, select a topic first we select a general topic and then we narrow uh, narrow it down two words uh, to us towards a topic that is uh, within our reach uh, which is manageable and which we can easily conduct a research upon second phase is uh, uh field research <coughs> sorry field research mean the actual research or the data collection like uh, uh selection of population selecting sample size then designing a tool tool means like a uh, 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 data collection tool uh, or instrument like uh, <coughs> uh, there are many tools like uh, uh, questionnaire uh, uh, pre and post test then we may conduct an interview uh, observation sheet so uh, you know focus group discussion Uh, content analysis so these are our tools so we have to in this uh, field field research mean that uh, we <coughs> develop our uh, tools according to the research plan we decide about the population population mean like the subjects and participants of the study and then we design a tool then after this we <coughs> Uh, in order to approach the sample population <coughs> let's say uh, we are conducting an interview with teachers and there are let's say 400 teachers so out of those 400 teachers are teachers uh, teaching in hazara division or any division of khyber pakhtunkhwa there are population <coughs> so out of these uh, this big population we are going to select let's say 100 teachers so 100 teachers is our sample size so <clears throat> so we have to uh, uh we have to you know kind of seek the consent of this population we have to write a letter and email and we may have to give a certificate 
and this certificate may have to be uh, you know we may get it signed uh, from the populations <coughs> uh, as we want them that uh, they are willingly being part, uh, participant then uh, data collection actually we go into the field and collect the data conduct an interview collect uh, collect uh, you know uh, let's say we give a uh, writing task to students and we collect them back and analyze them then we <coughs> compute the results uh, as per our objectives and hypotheses which are mentioned in the uh, uh, research plan the second phase is uh, done <coughs> with uh, data collection and we use a lot of rough sheets where we analyze the data and calculate the results phase number three is known as research report writing <coughs> sorry in this uh, phase <coughs> we actually write a report a report uh, 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 a research report can also be called a thesis or a dissertation there, there, there is a difference between a thesis and a dissertation. In a dissertation, we take up one point uh, and we develop it logically. And, but a thesis is a bit uh, empirical uh, thing or it's, uh, it's a kind of scientific thing. Uh, again, an argument, but uh, a, scientific, uh, a scientific problem <coughs> is analyzed. A thesis has three major sections. Section one is known as preliminary pages in the next uh, video i will talk about the these preliminary pages and then we have a main body of the report consisting of five chapters for bs level <coughs> and uh, for phd students sometime <coughs> these um, this main body may go up to seven chapters or nine chapters but at bl, BL uh, sorry bs level we write only five chapters and these chapters are called like introduction, literature review, and research methodology, results and discussion, chapter number four, results and discussion, like this, results and discussion, and last one is the <coughs> findings and conclusion. Then uh, in section three, we have uh, uh, references or bibliography. So references are the actual studies <coughs> research studies uh, our actual re uh, review of literature which we did for the our own, for our own study and uh, <coughs> bibliography can be uh, can contain extra books which may not have cited in our work which we may not have mentioned in our study but which uh, are there and readers can access them <coughs> so i'll explain these terms uh, later on but uh, phase three means writing a thesis or writing a report <coughs> and it has got three main sections preliminary stages like this is a prelims then we have main body and then we have a, a reference section or appendices okay now phase four <coughs> defense seminar or oral report so this is known as written report phase three means written report and this is oral report we have to speak we may uh, go in front of uh, you know a board of studies <coughs> a specialist group consisting of our own supervisor internal supervisor then there will be an external supervisor some other uh, ex experts may be there so we have to defend our thesis we have to defend defend this thesis in front of this committee it can be an open seminar like a public seminar <coughs> the whole university can attend it the whole college can attend it and it can be a specialist group for three or four <coughs> teachers or supervisors will sit uh, uh, on judgment and you as a student as a researcher you will have to come <clears throat> before them and using either uh, uh, poster uh, charts posters and wall charts or using a multimedia presentation uh, the researcher has to defend uh, the thesis the, it, it means that he or she will have to talk about the topic the research design <clears throat> uh, 
like variables content uh, uh, the population sample size hypotheses objectives etc and uh, what results were uh, calculated what are the findings etc all this has to be defended and this has to be presented <coughs> in a well organized uh, you know oral presentation uh, time varies like sometimes we may be given 20 minutes 30 minutes it depends so this is known as phase uh, 4 of the research so here is a roadmap for research <coughs> let me recap uh, phase 1 means planning or uh, writing a synopsis or proposal phase 2 is data collection actual field work phase 3 is writing a beautiful uh, research report consisting of five chapters and according to a fixed format the format is that uh, preliminary pages main body and reference section <coughs> okay and uh, main body consists of five ch chapters as i mentioned here then comes defense or seminar after this uh, we <coughs> once we are uh, given an OK, so our thesis will be published. Then comes writing a research paper. Our thesis uh, <coughs> is a voluminous thing. <coughs> Sorry, it may contain uh, let's say <coughs> uh, sixty to seventy pages, or sometimes ninety to eighty to ninety pages. But we may write a research paper uh, containing 12 to 13 pages uh, for a research uh, journal. So, <coughs> I will talk about uh, the format of a research paper soon. So, this is known as phase 5. <coughs> In phase 6, we try to <coughs> find out, <coughs> sorry, a suitable uh, research paper in which we can uh, uh, send our uh, research paper for publication. So uh, the last two ones are uh, very you know uh, optional things. You may uh, drop this idea. You may not write a research paper or you may not get it published. But the first phase one, phase two, phase three, and phase four are a must for a BS students. So you have to write a proposal first, you have to convince your supervisor that uh, you, you have selected a topic, <coughs> you have selected a topic which is researchable and you have to submit your uh, synopsis or research proposal or search plan according to a set format. This format as I just men uh, mentioned. Uh, it, it must consist of three uh, chapters introduction chapter literature review section and research methodology section <coughs> in the next video <coughs> sorry I will explain the format of a uh, research plan then you do actual research and then a uh, lot of calculations on rough uh, notes form in the rough, uh, rough notes register and after this you write a report using APA style manual or MLA style manual for <coughs> literature or linguistic students. For students uh, from other disciplines like engineers, uh, you know, mathematics, chemistry, physics, etc., <coughs> they have their own uh, style manuals. Uh, and even these manuals can be applied to sciences, uh, I mean basic sciences. So after this comes your defense. Again, defense has a format. There are lots of useful tips to be kept in mind. And uh, so up till here, these four phases, phases are, are uh, very much essential for a BS students. And uh, <clears throat> everything I have uh, touched upon in these phases will be elaborated in uh, the next few videos. Uh, please stay tuned and uh, press the uh, subscribe the channel. Channel's name is Rustam's Way of Learning English. And uh, <clears throat> you also uh, need to press the bell icon and uh, so that uh, when I uh, upload a new video in this series, you are notified. Uh, 
inshallah i after explaining these terms uh, i will uh, upload some uh, research projects uh, in the youtube uh, channel maybe in the youtube channel or in my uh, classrooms uh, known as google classroom and also i will share these uh, in my uh, sorry whatsapp group so i will request uh, students from haribur haveliya mandiya and uh, mansera uh, that uh, they should be mentally ready and i want i want uh, to teach uh, research skills online and uh, i would <coughs> like to utilize the the quarantine time uh, two months quarantine time in a useful activity if uh, teachers are listening to this video they are requested to <coughs> send phone numbers or email addresses of their students ba students particularly studying in fourth sixth and eighth semesters currently in government colleges so that i can add them to whatsapp group and later on i will give them a key to my online classrooms known as google classrooms and uh, <coughs> this way uh, we are going to develop a community of students already uh, in my whatsapp group i have students from haribur uh, college uh, department of english and uh, government degree college of elia government post graduate college mandia aptaba and government post graduate college mansera so i would also like <coughs> students from <coughs> girls colleges and uh, number one colleges aptabad so that they are benefited uh, from <coughs> the information i am sharing on youtube channel and uh, this way uh, when <coughs> they should uh, a foundation should be provided to them later on they can uh, study themselves using diy approach do it yourself approach and they can further <coughs> uh, build a grand uh, structure uh, of research on the foundation i am going to provide thank thank you very much for watching this video